Namaskar everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today's practice will be some strengthening, some balancing on our legs and our arms. So it can be a little more challenging than a normal gentle yoga class. But I would like to welcome you all to accept the challenge. So go ahead and get it started. You can use your mat and sit in any comfortable position you are comfortable with. Keep your back straight, head upright, eyes closed. And gently bring your palms together in front of your heart center. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Two more, take a deep breath in, long breath out. Last one. Gently. Inhale deep and this time Om sound to invoke the divinity and connect us to the higher energy for the better practice and better energy throughout the practice. Oh. Placing them on our eyes and gently open your eyes. Inhale, raise your arms up. And to the side now. Exhale down and onto tabletop. Inhale, look up, arch your back. Exhale, round your back and head down. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and head down. Inhale, arch and look up, head up, feel to assist. Drop your belly. Exhale round and head down. Very nice. Slowly. Lift your knees up the mat into down facing. Gently move the knees up and down about five times and five breathing here. One. Inhale and exhale, two, breathe in and out, three, four, take a deep breath in, long out, and five, very gently, walk backwards, your fingers backwards, come on to your Eat. and uh, bending your elbows gently swing to the sides stretching your hips your glutes your hamstring a little bit here breathing in nice breathing out nice here yeah. And slowly coming up, stretch nice, raise your arms up and over, stretching up. Very nice. Exhale, fall down, down, fall down, all the way down. Try to grab your ankles, same. And slowly. Place your palms onto the mat and walk forward. Nice. Again, two. Down facing. And this time, 
Take your right foot between your palms. Good. And then your fingers are side of your right foot. And you want to lift your back foot higher a little bit. Good. And we'll balance it for about three to five breathing. Inhale nice. Exhale long. One. Breathe. We can use the block if needed to place our palms there. Three. Breathing and balancing. Four. And five. Very good. Drop the back foot down on the mat. And down. Raise your arms up into warrior. A. Look at your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Two. Breathe in deep. Breathe out long. Three. Four. And five. Very nice. Palms in front of your heart center. And then, can you lift your back leg? Nice, good, 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 good. You try to straighten it, very good. Pause, breathe in and breathe out. Two, breathe in and breathe out. Three, four, And five. Wonderful. Drop it down. Inhale. Hands out. Back foot into warrior B. Two. Inhale and exhale here. Three. Inhale and exhale. Four. Inhale and exhale. And five. Left palm on the left leg, right arm over and reverse your warrior. Opening up your chest. Stretching your arm, breathing in and out here. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Right forearm on the right. Five. Left arm over. Side angle. One. Breathe in and out. Two. Three. Looking at your left fingers, four, and five. Inhale to the middle. Extend hands out and exhale to the left side. So first we'll drop our palms down on the mat. And then we are lift our back leg. This time our right leg is back, so we're gonna lift it up. And we're gonna hold it about five breathing. One. Inhale and exhale. Engage your legs. Feel the breathe. Two. Hissing sounds if possible in our breathing. Three. Four, almost there, and five. Good. Good, nice. And then inhale, warrior A, raising your arms up. And looking up to our south palms. Two, inhale and exhale. Three, four. 
and five. Exhale, palms in front of your heart center. And this time we're gonna lift our back leg again, a little higher into warrior third. So lift it up. It's a variation of warrior third. Virabhadrasana three, two, three, four, <laughs> four, inhale and exhale here, and five, great, release, drop it down, and then inhale, hands out into warrior B, back foot flat, extending your arms out, and look at our left fingers, breathe, two, three, four, and five. Right palm on the right leg, left arm over. Reverse your warrior. One, breathe. Two, three, Deep breathing, long out, four, and five. Left forearm on your left thigh, right arm over. And look at your right fingers. One, two, three, four and five inhale to the middle extend your arms out exhale grab your ankles your feet parallel to each other inhale half lift exhale let's go down a little further down down towards the mat and can you interlock your fingers back this time and uh, try to take your interlocked fingers all away from your back and try to drop your hips a little down. Two, breathe in and out here. Three, <clears throat> excuse me, four, and five. Inhale slowly, coming up, all the way up. Exhale to your right side, right leg is straight 90 degree, left in. So inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, hands down to the side of your right foot. And our head goes down towards our right knee. Parsottanasana, side intensive stretch pose. Two. Breathe deep in, long out. Three. Four. And five. Can we make it to the other side, turning around to the other side, or you can switch your legs. And let's do it to the other side of partial Down, left, okay, left knee, and head down towards the left knee. Two, inhale, let it so. Three. Four. And five. Inhale to the middle. And then exhale. Come up. Inhale all the way up. And exhale out of the mat. 
Inhale, raise your arms over, take a deep breath in and look up. Exhale, fold, fold and grab your ankles. Inhale, half lift and straighten your back and arms. Exhale, bend your knees and palms onto the mat. And take a step back, both feet back into high plank. And uh, we'll try to hold this high plank. Santula Nashana for about eight breathing. Inhale and exhale. Two, three, four, five. Deep breathing, long out. Six. Seven and eight. Awesome. Exhale into push up like Chaturanga Dandashina. Inhale, upward facing Urdhva Mukha Shanashina. Lift your chest. Exhale, Adhva Mukha Shanashina. Hips high, arms straight, legs straight. Stretching my and our back and arms and legs. And very gently, again, then you come into high plank. And this time, we wanna play, uh, we wanna bend our right knee and uh, wanna bring it closer to the uh, right elbow, right knee closer to the right elbow, if you can. And hold it about three breathing. One, two, and three. Awesome. Release that out. Straighten your leg. And the other side. Inhale and exhale. Left knee close to the left elbow. Inhale and exhale. One. Two and three. Exhale, lower it down and back into plank. Awesome. And then exhale again, Chaturanga Dandashana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Swanashana. Lift your chest up. Exhale, Adhva Mukha Swanashana. Very nice. This time, bring your right foot between your left foot and palm to the side. And this out. Then your right foot flat now and then left arm up. And look at your left fingers and breathe here. One. We'll try to hold it for, for five breathing. Two, inhale and exhale. Three, deep breathing long out. Four, and five. Exhale, release your left palm down to the mat and bring your right foot back with the left and then switch your left. Left goes out between your right foot and right palm, and right foot flat again. Inhale, raise your arms up. One, breathe in and out, looking up towards the right fingers. Two, stretching nice and balancing nice. Three, inhale the next song. Four, and five. Exhale. Right palm down onto the mat. Left leg goes back. High plank. Inhale. Lower down. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandashana. Urdhva Mukha Shanashana. Inhale. Look up. Exhale. Adhva Mukha Shanashana. Very nice. And then gently. We'll do to the side. So come to the right side. 
and the bus station or shipping line and your favorite pose <laughs> yes inhale and exhale about eight breathing here looking upper fingers this time left fingers two three hissing sound and our breathing possible four five Six, seven, eight. Awesome, very strong. Very gently turning around and we make it to the other side. Raise your arm up. Look at your right fingers this time. Inhaling deep breathing. Exhaling long out two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wonderful. Great. Inhale here, high plank. Santulanasana, exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, exhale, Adhva Mukha Svanasana, very nice, three breathing deep and long into Adhva Mukha Svanasana or down facing, Inhale and exhale two. Inhale and exhale three. And very gently come onto your knees and bring your right foot forward. Ardha Hanumanashana and uh, left knee is down on the mat. Inhale, raise your arms up, look up. Exhale, going down towards your right foot, so palms maybe on the mat, fingers on the mat. And then right knee is tossed by our head if it's possible, or simply head down towards your right knee as much well as it can go. Inhale and exhale. Two, breathe in and out. Three, expansion and our lungs, diaphragm while inhaling and exhaling, releasing all out. Four, and five. Slowly take your right knee back and drop it on the mat. Bring your left forward. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, down towards the left knee. One, breathe. Feel the good stretch on your left hamstring, left side of the legs. Two, three, four, and five. And help raise your arms up. Exhale, knee closer. Arms on the west. Very good. And then this time, take your right knee out to the side and your hands out and exhale right palm with the right foot, lift up over and did super side stretch, body gahasana, gate pose and open up your left side of the body nice, 
And then a stretch down, down, two, breathe in and out, three, breathe in and out, looking up towards the ceiling, four, and five, inhale, hands out, exhale, knee closure, hands on your hips, Inhale, left leg out and hands out. Exhale, left palm and the left foot, right arm over and stretch and go to the left side of the body and feel a stretch on the right side and breathe nice and long here. Two. Three. Four, and five. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, knee closure. Hands on this. Yeah. This time, Ustrasana, camel pose, put your right arm up. Inhale. And then exhale, right fingers on your right heel. If you can, left up, inhale and drop it down on your left heel. And then drop your head back. And if it's uh, nice, you can lose your head and neck. Let it go backwards. Two. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and out. Nice. Three. Four and five. Inhale, coming up, interlock your fingers. Exhale, your head down onto the mat. Hips is too high off the hilts. Good for the blood circulation on our upper body, especially to the brain, to the head. Holding it about five, breathing two, three, four, and five. Very gently, your hips on your heels into child's pose. Knees wide, hands to the side, forehead on your forehead on the mat. Relax there about five breathing, very normal and relaxed breathing. Very gently, come into sitting position, hip to legs straight out, and we'll do some stretching on our legs and back. So bring your right foot, a right heel into the groin, and then inhale, raise your arms up, take a deep breath here, exhale, both. Hands, palms towards your left foot, and uh, yeah, we can use the strap and holding it for five breathing. One, two, three. And five, inhale, raise your arms up, take a deep breath in here. Exhale, switch your leg, left heel into the groin. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold down, hold. Inhale and exhale here. One. 
Exhale, releasing both legs straight, and this time we'll keep our both legs straight, stretching up and over. Exhale, folding forwards, pushing with the machine about eight feet in the air. Two. Three. Seven and eight. Inhale, raise your arms up. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, release and cross your legs. Arms forward. The legs back on your belly. And palms to the side of your chest. And try to bring your feet together with the Kuzangashina. So easy cobra. Lift your chest up and still keep your elbow bent. Open your shoulder, open your chest. And head up, lifting your chest, arching your back. Two. Breathing in and out. Three. Four. And five. Very much released. Good. And hands to the side. Relax for a few seconds. Now, Salabhashana. So, Raise your right leg off the mat. Just your right leg or the salavashana. One, two, breathe and lift. Three, four, and five. Release that down. Left off the mat. One, breathe in it. Two, three, four, and five. Release. Now, place your palms underneath your belly or on your Pelvic and lift your both legs now. One, two, slip your legs. Three, strengthening our legs, our pelvic region. Four, five, three more, six. Seven, eight, and release my favorite. Gently, and go to the side. And nice, easier one. And then, and then straight your leg up. And try to balance and stretch. Anantashana variation. A lot of Vishnu, Osh. Two. Stretching variation, looking up. 
Can we make it to the other side? Let's do it. Inhale and then stretch this and breathe. One. Two, breathing out, three, four, and five. Release and lie on your back now. Nice. Good. Now, we're going to make our legs. We'll do other navasana half mode position. So make your legs about 30 degree and lift your yes. We'll hold it for 10. One breathe. Two three four five Five more, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good, strong. <laughs> Exhale, bring your knees close to the belly. Hug your knees, interlock your fingers outside of your knees. Release the tension of your belly by hugging and moving your knees to the both side, going to the left, going to the right. And gently straighten your legs out. And raise your right leg and hug it to the left knee. Left knee goes underneath your right knee. Yes, and then drop it down to the left side. And then it's a twisting pose. And so we're gonna look to the right side. So we're dropping our right knee to the left side and then we look to the right side. So it's variation of Markatashana. And it's twisting and we try our best to keep our both shoulder blades onto the mat. It's a little harder, but yeah, you can try. Two, inhale and exhale, stretching and twisting. Three, inhale and exhale. Four, inhale and exhale. And five, inhale and exhale. Very gently release this one. Very good. And bend your left knee and grab it to the right arm from inside. And drop your left knee down to the right side. And extend your left arm in line of the left shoulder and look to the left side. Breathe in deep. Breathe out long. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, release. And your both feet, shoulders together, knees wide. And move your knee gently, place your palms on your thighs, close your eyes. And we're going to relax our rest of the body, except our knees, we're going to move our knees. 
and line butterfly or this is also called reclining bound angle pose Supta Baddha Konasana or Supta Purna Pitaliasana. Doze and relax to feel the sensation on your groin, on your knees, on your hips. And very gently close your legs widen out, close your hands widen out. And uh, relax your arms, relax your legs. Relax your back, your head your hips, everything loads and relax into Sabashina for about one minute. Complete relaxation, do not hold or tighten any parts of your body, just relax there, loads there. Loads your body, relax your breathing. Loads and Complete silence, complete relaxation. Very gently, bend your knees. Place your palms on your belly and feel the movement of your belly with the breath. When you inhale, belly comes out with the expansion of our lungs, diaphragm, breath cleans. And when you exhale, belly goes down and breath comes out and there is contraction in our Two more breathing of such inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale deep. Exhale. And relax. Drop your palms. Place them on your eyes. Pass good warm energy onto your eyes through your palms. Very gently, turn over to the side, bending knees, bending elbows. Turn over to the other side. And very slowly, with the support of your palms, let's get into sitting position. Bring your palms together, take a deep breath in. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. 